The Parent Trap might be the greatest movie in all of existence. Look, I'm not a film bro. I'm not majoring in film. I may be taking one film-ish class, but that's beside the point. I don't even watch very many movies. Hence, this is why The Parent Trap is my favorite movie. <laughs> and there will be spoilers ahead. So if you don't want spoilers, then maybe watch the movie and then come back and watch this. It all started when I was a kid. Little Zoe watched The Parent Trap for the first time and was entranced. The pranks at camp, the poker scene, Little Zoe thought that Hallie was the coolest person ever. Tie-dye shirt girl. Whoa, now that's my kind of woman. When Hallie does the photo shoot with her mom, and those are just a few moments. So let me backtrack a little bit if you are unfamiliar with the movie. Uh, the Parent Trap is directed by Nancy Myers, and I looked her up when I started writing the script for this video because I, I, I don't know anything about like directors really. Um, but I found out that she directed The Holiday, which is also a great movie, um, so that makes sense. The Parent Trap follows twin sisters Annie James and Hallie Parker, and by a very crazy coincidence, they end up at the same summer camp. For reference, Annie lives in London, and Hallie lives in California. So how they ended up at the same camp, that is very odd. So when they meet for the first time at camp, Somehow they don't immediately realize that they're twins, <laughs> which is really strange to me because I mean, they look um, exactly the same, <laughs> but they realize that they have the same birthday, which fun fact is also my birthday. How old are you? I'll be 12 on October 11th. <coughs> I think it's very important. And then Annie and Hallie realize that they've each only met one of their parents. So Annie has only known her mom, Elizabeth James, and Hallie has only ever known her dad, Nick Parker. And both of the girls have a picture of the parent that they've never met torn right down the middle, right down the middle. Right down the middle, right down the middle. So they have a heart to heart and come up with a genius plan to, in my script I wrote down cosplay. <laughs> That's definitely not the right word. They come up with a genius plan to become each other so that Annie can spend time with their dad and Hallie can spend time with their mom. So this leads to a scene I still think about all the time for whatever reason. I don't know why. So they realize that Hallie has pierced ears and Annie doesn't. So of course, what else do you do than pierce Annie's ears? And I just wonder like how many people saw that and did the trick with like the ice cube and the and the apple slice. Cause I mean it seems like it seems like it would work, I don't know. And they also end up cutting Annie's hair because it's much longer than Hallie's. So now that Annie and Hallie are completely identical, they basically have to teach each other like everything about their lives. Of course, Annie has to teach Hallie the iconic handshake. I remember learning this with one of my friends when I was younger. It was always so fun and I wanted it to like become a thing. It never really stuck, which was, was pretty sad, but it was fun to learn it anyway. So they leave camp and here is when they start acting as each other. And at first everything goes great. Um, Annie gets to spend time with their dad, Hallie gets to spend time with their mom, and they are loving it. But then, um, it starts getting revealed that they may not be exactly who they are, um, supposed to be. You know about Annie? I am Annie. <gasps> You're Hallie? I am. And there's another problem. It's called Meredith Blake. That woman is the bane of my existence. I, I, I cannot stand her. Sure, the movie needed some sort of conflict, um, villain, like a sense of urgency to get the parents back together. But I, I just, she's not it. So Annie finds out that her dad is planning on making Meredith a part, part of, of the family, family. <laughs> which leads to one of my favorite parts of the whole movie because Annie is like, oh great, I've always wanted an older sister. And the dad is confused. And then Annie says this. No, I'm not. You're going to adopt Meredith. That is so good. If I was Nick Parker, I would be taken aback. Like, 
even your 11 year old daughter knows that Meredith is too young for you. And then obviously he's like, no, I'm going to propose to Meredith. And that sends Annie into a frenzy because this is their whole plan to get the parents back together. But that can't happen with Meredith there. And here begins the parent trap. So they set up a plan for Hallie and her mom to meet at a resort that Nick and Meredith and like Meredith's whole family is gonna be at. The thing is, Hallie lies to her mom and says that Nick invited her to, to the resort, which is not true. The girls just set up a whole plan so that they can meet there and Nick has no idea that she's gonna be there. So they all, of course, end up meeting up at the resort and at least some very funny interactions. And some very heartfelt interactions. And of course, Meredith realizes that they're uh, that they're twins. She doesn't just have to deal with Annie. It's um, it's both of them. So then after all the resort stuff, they head back to California to go on their annual camping trip. However, it just ends up being the girls, Nick, and Meredith. The girls really sabotage Meredith, which is pretty evil, but you know, I, I, I support it. <laughs> and this actually works out well because Meredith ends up issuing an ultimatum. She says, it's me or the girls. So obviously Nick picks the girls. It's me or them. Take your pick. Them. Uh, excuse me? T-H-E-M, them. Get the picture? So now that Meredith is out of the picture, the parents can get back together, right? Well, it's not, it's not so simple. They realize it's gonna be harder than they think you know, to parent since they still both live on like complete opposite parts of the world. Elizabeth and Annie end up going back to London, which leaves a sad Nick and Hallie waiting on the doorstep watching them leave. So what, the girls are just gonna be separated again? Like what was the whole point of the movie? Oh, oh, oh wait, Nick and Hallie are in London already and they're getting back together. So everything Annie and Hallie did really did pay off. And you know, it's just a very genuinely sweet ending. It's, actually, it's very nice to watch. So that's it for my summary, but I just wanted to tie up some loose ends with a few letterboxed reviews that I found. So the first one is, um, I really thought that the mom was Princess Diana for my entire childhood. Um, me too. <laughs> Didn't we all? I mean, short haired blonde lady in London? How could that not be Princess Diana? No, but seriously, like I've seen posts, like several posts about this exact thing. And I even asked my sister like if she thought that too, and she did too. So I, I don't know why that was so common, but I guess we're all kind of more similar than we realize. Okay, Letterboxd review number two says, it took me a long time to realize there weren't two Lindsay Lohans in real life. Okay, same about this too. I literally, I grew up thinking that Lindsay Lohan was a twin. Ask me what the other twin's name is though. I. I wouldn't have no clue. Speaking of like, isn't there, I feel like there's some kind of conspiracy that says that like, th that she is a twin. I don't know, that's that's weird. But yeah, little Zoe could not wrap her mind around the fact that one actress could play both of the twins. Luckily I had that concept figured out by the time I watched Liv and Maddie. <laughs> and the third Letterboxd review says, so you're telling me Chessie isn't a lesbian. I so agree with this. I think that I may be in love with Chessie. And the fact that Chessie and Martin got together in the movie to me is pretty funny. <laughs> I've seen several posts about the fact that like, <laughs> Disney made us believe that both Martin and Chessie were not gay. <laughs> and thinking about it now, I think I need a spin-off movie just about Chessie. Where's, where's my, um, Oh, what? My jacket? <laughs> yeah, um, my jacket, it, it does directly correlate to the video I'm making right now. Um, but isn't it pretty cool? I mean, I painted it on myself. If you think this one is cool, um, I also made a Stranger Things one a while ago. If you think that is cool, then you're in luck because I have an Etsy shop. If you're interested in a custom painted denim jacket, and supporting me Whatever and this channel, then you should go to my Etsy shop. Um, it's in 
the description of this video, or you can just search Denim by Zoe on Etsy and you should find my shop. Okay, I think I've self-promoted enough. <laughs> So why do I like The Parent Trap so much? Of course, it's a great movie. Um, it has lovable and hateable <clears throat> Meredith um, characters. There's overall a very fun energy and some more emotional bits that really draw you in. Throughout the whole movie, you're really rooting for the twins um, and rooting for the parents to get back together. But to be completely honest, I rarely make it to the very end of this movie. I usually end up doing something else like by the end of the movie and I'm always surprised when the credits start rolling. I just, I do think it kind of drags on and it's to the point where when I recently rewatched the movie, I genuinely did not remember the fact that the parents got back together. And then I was very like surprised by the end scene. Like it genuinely like seemed like I had not, I'd never seen that scene before. I think maybe like throughout the movie, there were just like too many locations for my brain to just like stay focused on the movie. Like barely any of the movie is actually set at camp. Like suddenly they're back at home, but then that's split between like London and California. And then they're at the resort, which is where I kind of feel like the movie is always ending. But then I realized that they still have to go on the camping trip and then the parents still have to get back together. To me, it just seems like a lot of build-up to the ending. Let me know if you agree. So I have to say, the main reason I love this movie is the nostalgia I have attached to it. I've watched it so many times throughout the years with my friends, with my sister. For some reason, I always end up watching it around my birthday. It just feels like a staple of my childhood, and I don't want to let go of that. I also just enjoy telling people that The Parent Trap is my favorite movie. I feel like it always comes like very out of left field. So I want to know if The Parent Trap is anyone else's favorite movie or if it's just me. But let me know if you like this video. I have plenty of other weird random movies from my childhood that I could make videos about. So maybe I'll make another one. That's it. You're going to adopt Meredith.